Since her first appearance over 25 years ago on Batman the Animated Series, Harley Quinn has cartwheeled all over the DC Universe in comics, video games, and live action movies. But now she's returning to her roots with her very own animated series. Here to tell me more of what we're in store for, please welcome the producers, Patrick Schumacher, Justin Halpern, and Jennifer Coyle. Thanks for joining us, you guys. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for having Thank us. You. Okay, so, oh, Harley Quinn, she is so awesome. And a lot of people obviously affiliate Tara Strong with her, but now we have Kaylee's voice. What do you think we can get out of Kaylee with this time around? Like, what what, what does her voice bring to this character that we haven't seen before? Uh, I think Kaylee brings, like, a manic energy to it that is adjacent to the original Harley. But I think uh, in this version, she's sort of pushed a little bit more comedic. And I think Kaylee can, like, hit all these ranges that we ask for this character to hit on this version of the show. Okay. Yeah, very much in the spirit of the original character, but with her own spin. But we've gotten the blessing from co-creator Bruce Tim, so that's the that's all yeah, the relief he, he, he needed. Yeah, he didn't good. he didn't hate it. So well, I yeah. heard the trailer and I thought that she was fantastic. So I'm super excited about that. Also, this is post breakup with the Joker. I, Jennifer, I kind of want to bring you into the mix here because you know how how we can be. We'll be like, it's yeah. over with them. This is it. Is this really true? This is gonna resonate with every woman on earth because we've all dated a Joker or two. Uh -huh. and, uh, <laughs> and this is really refreshing. Like for me, I was a series like a, a big fan of the original series. Yeah, and, like, it's a big part of why I wanted to get into this world of animation. What gave and, it away? Your outfit? Uh, <laughs> big fan no, here. I just didn't know where else to wear this. <laughs> but <laughs> but honestly, like it's really really satisfying to see her like tell him to stick it and like stand up on her own and put you know like find yeah, I mean, out that's, who she is. That's really what it is. It's a breakup story, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like what happens when you are with somebody who sucks up all the oxygen in the room and then you leave them. Where does that leave you? Yeah, and I mean, I'm excited to see her self-exploration. I feel like we could possibly see a Harley Quinn we've never seen before. I think that's true. I mean, the series focuses on, the first season at least, focuses on that breakup story, but then also Harley's uh, relationship with Poison Ivy, her BFF, yeah, uh, and the evolution of their friendship, uh, which, you know, may or may not become something more down the road. We'll see. Uh, yeah. So, what a tease, Pat. I know. <laughs> Is there going to be betrayal? Tell me no. I, I love them being uh, besties. There's friendship. There's betrayal. I mean, aren't all BFFs about betrayal at some point? Mm. You wouldn't be BFFs. Good it's getting yeah. 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 They'll weather yeah. the storm. Fly. Yeah. So I'm super excited to see Poison Ivy, um, and we'll probably see Batman, Joker. Are there any other cool cameos that you guys can hint about? I think yeah. people are going to love this version of Bane in our Ooh, show. Awesome. Bane okay. plays a big part in the show. Also, so a smaller DC character who has a bigger part in our show is Kite Man. Okay. And I think people are really going to like Kite Man. Jennifer, yeah. is there any character that you really want to see brought into the mix? Like, your dream character to bring into this? Um, gosh, off the top of my head, we've really hit all of the big ones. Yeah. yeah definitely. Uh, I think we've got a surprise one that's an original character on this show that's really going to be a runaway hit, though. Um, can I tell him about Frank the Plant? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, Baby Smooth voices oh. uh, Poison Ivy's, like, plant that lives oh. in her house. And, and it's J.B. Smooth. And, and with J.B. Smooth, you're just like, be funny. And then he is. So do you think in this one that the student has become the master now with, you know, the Harley Joker relationship? Or is she kind of going to do her own thing? <laughs> Oh, we definitely. Oh, I got a giggle there. <laughs> okay, what is that? Yeah, you go, you go. Well, it's because you just inadvertently quoted one of our shows. Uh, like, uh, it, it's a. Uh, I think you're really dialing into this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Joker uh, at one point uh, has a conversation with Harley in which Harley says the student has become the master, and the Joker then uh, refutes that and says, "I believe the phrase is the student has become a master equal to, but not greater than the original master." <laughs> Oh my gosh. He's I a love petulant it. man child. Okay, of yeah. course, yes. Um, I also want to ask you guys why do you think that people love Harley Quinn so much? I mean, without question, she is probably the most cosplayed character, like, ever, at least in my opinion, whenever I go to any con. I mean, I think the person in the Harley dress should answer that. Yeah, yeah, right? <laughs> that might, might be fitting. Well, I think I kind of touched on that before. I think a lot of women really, like, understand where she's coming from and, like, um, I, in some ways, they kind of glorify this relationship that she has with the Joker, but I think it's, it's because a lot of women kind of experience that. And yet, she's strong, and she's tough, and she's 
smart and um, and she's very much all of those things in our show. She's um, this is going to be the first time we really ever see her. You mentioned personal growth. She goes through an arc and she's really figuring out who she is. There's yeah. There's also like an impulse mm. control. Like she does whatever the fuck she wants. Oh, yeah. So I, I think that's true. It's easy to get behind a character that does that. <laughs> so there's so many Harley stories to pull from. Do you guys have a favorite moment that you remember when you were watching the show or reading a comic or whatever, and you were like, okay, I really want to do something with Harley Quinn. You were talking about the animated series earlier. I well, the animated series, but it was the comic Mad Love that was just it was so beautifully drawn and so beautifully like expressed like how hard it is to love someone who doesn't love you as much as as you love them and uh, and yet like she didn't really like she never really takes it down the chin she does but then she gets back up and you know that's her indomitable spirit is uh, what's really a draw Justin and Patrick yeah I mean I think like again I mean just not to copy Jen's yeah. answer but <laughs> I think <laughs> that the mad love and then and I also like a lot of the work that Amanda Connor did in mm -hmm. the in the uh, most in the rebirth series uh, or the new, new 52 series um, where Harley's just kind of this like fun crazy person that flings dog shit off of her roof <laughs> with a catapult and I remember when we read that we were like yeah that's like the essence of like where we want to take this character is like how she can have so much more fun when she's not strapped to the Joker. Yeah. For me, it was the original Batman the Animated Series yeah. and the episode Harley and Ivy when they kind of forged their friendship. And Aww. just like that sort of Thelma and Louise tableau of like them in the convertible wreaking havoc. Love it. So that's a huge inspiration on this show. So. Okay, so we're talking about two of the baddest bees like in the DC world right now. Who do you guys think is the baddest bee in the DC world? Like, who could take on Harley Quinn? We know Poison Ivy can hold her on, but let, we'll eliminate her because she's kind of in bestie territory. I mean, so we, in the writers' room, we always talk about like Catwoman being like so uber cool that I don't know, like in a physical confrontation, that she could potentially take Harley. But just like she's so cool and confident and kind of like aloof that I feel like she could like mentally break down Harley, which she does sometimes in the show. Yeah, she shows up. Catwoman's in the show. Oh my God, okay, well we have that. I know, I'm like, what, did that just process? But who do you think she'd be a good, like who would match up really well against her? Uh, or you would uh, love to see? Man, we, we do so much in this show. We have so much of the DC universe what in about, the show. I feel like. What about what? Mad Harriet from the Female Furies? Oh, that's Ooh, pretty good. We do. We, right? uh, she be fun? Yeah. I mean, I don't want to give too much away, but like maybe okay. Granny uh -oh. Goodness shows up oh. at some point. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that's a pretty <laughs> solid one. Okay. Yeah. This is, we heard it here first on IGN, everybody. <laughs> oh my gosh. Thank you guys so much for doing this interview with us. Super excited about the show. Well, we'll be right back in a little bit. See you later.